you just put dinner in the Instant Pot. Pressure is set, you walk away to let the Instant Pot do its thing. Five minutes go by, 10 minutes go by, and pressure still has not been reached. What in the world? Hi, I'm Kristen from A Mindful Mom, and just like you, I get super frustrated when anything messes with my plans for dinner, especially if it appears to be a faulty Instant Pot. Chances are, it's not the Instant Pot's problem. You are the problem. Don't worry, no judgments. The Instant Pot is a finicky little machine, and it's only through my mistakes that I can help you. If it's been 20 minutes since you've set pressure and walked away from your Instant Pot, and it still hasn't started the cook time, have a little patience. I'm serious. Sometimes it can take the Instant Pot up to 45 minutes to come to pressure. What? I know, you felt lied to. People have been telling you this machine is instant, but if you filled your Instant Pot with a large volume of soup or frozen items, it can take up to 45 minutes for your Instant Pot to come to pressure. But if after 45 minutes has gone by and your float valve has not come up or cook time has not started, we've got a problem. Or if cook time has started, but your float valve has not floated up, we really have a problem. The first thing you need to check is that your vent knob is pointed towards sealed, not venting. If that's the case, go ahead and knock that vent knob from venting to sealed. Wrong, don't do that. It's tempting, I know, and if you catch it right away, by all means go ahead and knock it into the right position. But if it's been even five minutes, you need to stop and hit cancel on your Instant Pot. Carefully open the lid and check to make sure that you still have enough thin liquid inside your Instant Pot. If not, add a fourth of a cup to a half of a cup more thin liquid inside and proceed with the recipe. If your float valve isn't the issue, chances are it's your ceiling ring. Be sure to take off your ring and give it a good clean. That ceiling ring gets dirty and little bits of debris can form on the inner ring and then it can't form a good seal on your Instant Pot. But maybe you did clean it and maybe you just didn't put it in correctly. Take your ring off, put it back in, make sure that it's fully secured and try again. Or maybe you take the lid off and there's no ceiling ring there. <laughs> I've done that more times than I care to admit. If that's the case, again, check to make sure that you have enough liquid inside your Instant Pot, secure that ceiling ring, and start again. Or maybe you've been cooking back to back to back recipes inside your Instant Pot, and your Instant Pot is telling you it needs a break. I'm just kidding. It can work all day, but heat does cause that ceiling ring to expand band, and so it may not be able to form a good seal on your inner pot. So what you need to do is pop the lid entirely into the freezer for five to 10 minutes, and that cool air will help the sealing ring to contract and a seal will be able to form on your inner pot. And finally, maybe you got a burn notice when your Instant Pot was trying to come to pressure. If that's the case, catch me in my next video where I walk you through exactly what to do when you get a burn notice. I'll see you there.